all right taurus hi guys welcome to my channel so let's see let's do uh two readings for you today okay um we'll just do the connections in your life and you can see who it is okay for some of you guys it's going to be a partner some of you guys it's going to be a family member a friend okay so yeah all right let's see let's see please tell me spirit please tell me how how the group one how um whoever wants to come out please tell me the current feelings towards towards um taurus and how they'll know who it is okay so it's very likely it'll be detailed so you know exactly who it is okay you won't have to figure it out okay four of cups page of cups so somebody wants to um somebody's feeling quite sad since you guys have, have stopped speaking okay it could be a water sign the pisces cancer scorpio all right somebody wants to message you they're thinking about messaging you they can tell that since you guys haven't been it could be a thing where you could even start speaking to somebody again but it's not the same as it used to be okay so so far water's come out how is this person currently feeling queen of swords okay so they feel they feel like um they feel like some kind of coldness here but you know what i'm also getting is like when you guys first what i did get um when you guys first stopped speaking that this person was happy and then after a while they become they felt quite guilty and sad and you know like oh damn so that yeah page of swords so this person's been watching you keeping an eye on you okay and wondering could have been asking people about, you know, you, you know, how's Taurus, what's going on with them, what are they up to? Ten of Cups. So this is, this is, this could be a family member for some of you guys or somebody that you had a family with, okay? Strong water energy so far. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you guys, they can see that you're actually doing quite well. Like, that's beautiful, really. Um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So this person feels like, um, you know, regardless of what's happen happening between you guys, you, you do seem better. So I feel like that's why they're kind of thinking, oh, shit, like, what was it about me? What was it about what I said, our connection, that made them feel a certain way? Maybe that's why they felt glad, because maybe it was like, okay, do you know what? It's for the best or whatever, but somebody does feel regretful here, yeah? There with the Four of Cups. Three of Pentacles. This person does want to speak to you again, okay? They do want, they do want to work it out with you. They are, they are noticing that you're focused on your career as well. They are noticing that you're focusing on yourself, Okay. Seven of Cups in reverse and Ace of Swords upright. So there's some there's something that you're no longer confused about. There's something that they feel, so do you know what I'm getting? Like this person feels like you found your way or you're finding your way, you're getting on your feet, okay? This kind of reminds me of um the Gemini reading that I did a few days back. I I believe it was titled something like um, if this person hasn't told you, I, I definitely will. That's what it was named, something like that, yeah? Because I picked up in that reading, and the reason why I'm saying it is because it's, 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 it reminds me of that one, but in a different way. Because in that reading, in, in a Gemini reading, some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart, but it's like somebody wants to um, do things by themselves. They feel like they need a bit of space, need a bit of time, okay? So it could have been you, Taurus, or is, you know whoever has you know tourist placements or someone has tourist and gemini placements so maybe you guys are cross watchers as well but it's something about let me do it i'll be just fine you know like 
you know, I don't need, somebody doesn't want to be dependent on somebody, okay, that's what I'm getting, so it could be like a mother and, um, mother and child scenario, father, you know, your father, an older sibling, somebody who has, a, who has or had a lot of say over your life at some point, could have been a partner who, who, um, either they were dependent on you or vice versa, okay, at some point, even for a short time, and it's kind of like something's changed, there's something that's changed here, okay? And somebody's finding it difficult to adapt to those changes. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, someone started something new. New job, new career, new life, new home, okay? Um, got more money, so they're more independent. There's something that's changed and somebody's finding it difficult to adapt to your change. And I feel like it was a bit suffocating, well, this is how they could have felt as well. All right. The Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something about learning lessons. Some of you guys feel like um, um, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I understand, you know, whatever. So like, for example, it's a um, 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 parent and child situation where it's like, you know, I, I know what you've taught me. I remember... You know, like I remember all those things, all those morals, all those things that you told me. I'm fine. I feel like I'm ready. Okay, so it's just one of those things where somebody's changed and the other person is holding on to that old version of you. That's what I'm feeling like. Okay, somebody's holding on to an old version of you and you're no longer that person and you're telling this person, you need to let go. You need to let go, okay? You need to let go. I'm no longer that person. I've grown up. I've matured. You know, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I no longer believe in that or that's no longer, you know, something like that, okay? All right. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Let's do group two. Let's see what comes up for you guys. Let's see who comes out and you read. And somebody, let me know who that is for you, group one, okay? Let me know who you feel that is. Well, you'll know if somebody's kind of finding it difficult to adapt by the behaviour, the actions, okay, to, to your changes, okay? And it could be ha you towards a kid, you know, something could have happened, say, for example, they've gone off to university or they've just started a family and you're like, oh my God, like, I, maybe I don't feel like I'm needed anymore, you know, something like that. Let me know what that is for you, Taurus. Right, group two, please. Let's see who comes up for you, how they're currently feeling. Okay, let's see. Justice, Four of Swords. Okay, so it could be a Libra there. Get a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something about is, um, oh, getting a load of things here. All right, for some of you guys, it's something about like, um, First of all, it could be something legal that you've been going through or your person's been going through, yeah? Um, for others of you, it's like, it's only fair for us to take a break, okay? Or a um, bit of time. What, both of these readings are coming out with like, I need space, I need a bit of space, I need a bit of me time, okay? King of Cups, it could be something to do with your father or the father of your children or you are um, somebody's father. For the males okay some of you okay somebody this could be a separation for some of you guys as well the lovers okay tell me a bit more the chariot then the the chariot and the knight of sword okay for some of you guys this is like a um I'm getting a few things, you know, I'll be real with you, I'm getting a few things. So for some of you guys, this is about the the mother or father of your child, okay? And some of them guys, they're thinking of that they're, they're still in love with you and they're thinking about coming towards you, okay, with the chariot and knight of swords. But I feel like I'm not sure if a lot has changed here because the knight of swords, like that's not the big that's not the king of swords, you know, like obviously still a little bit of immature energy not really fully grasp the lessons of 
of um, communicating <laughs> and stuff like that. But what I'm also getting is that some of you guys that have moved on from somebody, they're wondering if you found another partner here and they're curious and they're coming to check up on you. Who am I doing? Taurus, yeah. That reminds me of the Gemini reading. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. The love is, is here. So, you know, you've got Gemini, got Cancer, got Libra, Aquarius, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, yeah, something to do with one. Somebody's wondering if you've moved on. OK, if you've moved on and they want to check up on you, OK, somebody's curious. So they're clearly not ready to let go. Whoever this is, you're dealing with somebody. This is more love to me. It, the first group, it could have been love as well. But I feel like that could be could have been a mix of different people for you guys. OK, but with this one here, I'm picking up on somebody that you've been with um, in a romantic way. That's picked that wondering if you've moved on or say like you split up with, you know, the mother or father of your child they want to know who's in your life right now okay what are their intentions what's this person's intentions please what's their true intentions six of pentacles they still want you to get they're wondering if you're still open to give to the situation okay they're wondering if you're still open to give into the situation. They want to see if the door's still open. Okay. They want to see if the door is still open. Please tell me more. The Hierophant. They want to see if <laughs> they want to see if the door's still open to a relationship, okay? That's their intentions, but what are they good? If, if Taurus offers this person that, how will this person behave down the line? How will they behave? Not for the first few weeks or months. How will this person behave long term with um, Taurus? Because I feel like this is what you need to know right now. What is this? King of Swords. Still a bit cold and detached. Why is this person coming forward? Queen of Pentacles. They feel like they grow when they're with you. They feel like they... Oh, it could also be something about um, since your money's um, increased and stuff like that, okay? They could want to be a part. I don't know. I don't know. It's like wanting a bit of a bit of the pie, but a piece of the pie. What is going on with this person outside of the connection with Taurus? What is going on with this connection up other than Taurus? What is this person actually doing when Taurus isn't around? Four of Wands. That's another relationship card. That's other than you. Okay, so tell me more. They could be doing up their home. This could be another relationship that they're entering. Knight of Cups. I feel like they're dating somebody else. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. They could be open. They, mm, someone just doesn't want to let you go. Five of Swords. Oh, okay. So I feel like they are sorry, sorry guys. Like I have to like be real with you. I'm not gonna, you know. But I feel like this person could be seeing somebody else, started a relationship with somebody else, okay? Um they are dating the Knight of Cups, but I feel like when they have arguments, they come back to you, Taurus. They could be hiding this person from you. Tell me more about what happens with this person outside of the connection with Taurus. Page of Cups. So, yeah, this is something like something about when um, this person, because I feel like they they could you could know about this person, Taurus, or this person, your person that you were dealing with or are dealing with. And it's on and off. I feel like they've, they've got another connection. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Ace of Cups. Yeah, that's that's a new love. That's a new love. It's a new relationship. Yeah. So it's like. They're starting something new, but they're still trying to come back to you and see if you fully let go. 
okay i don't like that somebody needed to hear that if you're wondering why somebody's in and out and what they're doing guys i'm sorry please don't shoot the messenger yeah oh yeah last card please um um what should i ask is this per is is taurus's person going to continue this relationship with because some of you guys are on and off with this with this person that's coming out in your reading and you're wondering why they ghost you every now and again like as dodgy as hell like but i've asked what is going on outside of your connection and it's and this is like confirmed in so many ways that's a new relationship yeah they want to keep you in confusion yeah so they're starting something with somebody else yeah ten of pentacles okay but they're still obsessing over you okay this person they still obsess over you that's why they're coming back six of pentacles that's what i'm saying they want to see if you're still open they can't let you go um they the two of swords in the world they don't know if they want to complete this cycle they don't know and they're confused do not allow this person to to string you along okay um taurus about to say pisces some of you guys are dealing with the pisces please don't allow this person to string you along okay yeah capricorn there we got we got all the signs capricorn taurus gemini libra aquarius yeah cancer we've got all the signs here but yeah some of you guys need to hear that today i'm going to leave it there please actually subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys